Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. It is me, Kurt. It is Curtis. It is Curtis and it's the podcast. This is episode friggin' 245, I believe. Uh, I know the set looks a little different. I haven't actually been to my friggin' podcast set in a while because I've been traveling. I've been doing shows, man. I'm on the road again. I'm here in the beautiful, the, the, the gorgeous Appleton, Wisconsin, man. It's gorgeous here, dude. Uh, you got, what do you got? First off, <clears throat> the airport in Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, and I know you're probably thinking in your head, what Appleton, Wisconsin? What the fuck is it? Where is that? What is that place? And why'd you pick that place to do shows? Uh, you're gonna have to ask my agent because I didn't book it here. I didn't, I didn't, I straight up didn't know this place existed. Um, but we're here, man. Airport had like f- four four gates uh so that's always nice um i don't know there's a texas roadhouse here there's a i just had chipotle i i I had chipotle delivered and i ate it uh first time i had chipotle in a couple years all right and it was fucking pretty good actually i ate way too much though um okay here's what here's what happened today all right so i'm on uh I get to the airport, right? I uh, um, I get the I get on the first plane because you gotta do two flights. There's no direct flight from Toronto to fucking Appleton, Wisconsin. There's actually there actually is no direct flight. No one is going directly from. No one's like, oh, cool, I'll just take direct. It's never. No matter where you are, it's even somehow if you were to take a direct. Even the flight that I was on, the last one, I was technically a direct flight, but it's still not for some reason. So. And then I get to Chicago for my layover, and then I get on the second plane. And the second plane, this is where it started to go downhill. Not downhill, but sort of, you know, it got a little bumpy. So, second flight was at like 1, like 1 p.m., and or like 2 or something. And I walk on, I walk on the plane, and uh, the flight attendant is a fan. And that's huge, you know that that you know that hypes you up for sure. Um, Ow, fuck! Sorry, I'm trying to grab my phone here. Yeah, so I was hyped, right? I was pretty hyped. Uh, you know, she was super nice, right? Talked for a second, um, and then you know she asked if I want anything to drink, and I was like, you know what? I wanted to seem cool, you know. I wanted to seem like a chilled guy. Uh, I didn't want to be weird or anything. I didn't want. Because I always assume that people, like, when people recognize me from my videos and stuff, and they see me in real life, and I'm I'm just, like, a weird person, um, then they're going to, like, tell everybody, and then everyone's going to start hating me. That's, like, a big fear I have, which is super stupid. But um, So I was like, okay, what would, like, a cool guy do? What would a cool person do that they could tell their friends that they met me, and they're, like, really cool? So I ordered a glass of wine, just one. And then I had to finish it really quick uh, because we we're about to take off. And I, and then there she was like, you want another one? And I was like, what would a cool guy say? <laughs> they said they would do two. I was, they would say, yes, please. And ow, dude, I have a fucking canker sore in my lip that I just bit. Ow. Good thing I have to talk for fucking hours for the next few days. Ow, fuck. <clears throat> um, so she asked me if I want another glass of wine. I said, yeah. And... The flight was about 25 minutes, so I had two glasses of wine in, like, 20 minutes, and I, I was pretty buzzed, all right? I was pretty buzzed getting off the plane. That's all it takes these days, man. I'm almost 30. You give me two glasses of wine in 20 minutes, I'm good. I'm set. Um, so I was, like, fucking... I feel like, a, I, like I feel a little bit hungover now. I ate my Chipotle, uh, and... Because I was like, okay, I could either go to bed right now, or I could eat a little bit of food and then try to do this podcast. And I, I chose the latter and it worked. All right. Um, but yeah, dude, we got five sold out shows this weekend, man. It's it's fun. I got some going through the new stuff. And uh, yeah, dude, speaking of shows, I'm, uh, I'll am i be in Irvine. I'll be in Irvine, California on June 
fucking 28th to 30th or something. Same weekend as VidCon. Hilarious. Got him. Oh, and that lemonade feels great on my canker sore, too. Whoa. <clears throat> God damn it. Hey, ow. Yeah, I got this uh, this open wound. Does anybody have any salt? Does anybody got a salt shaker? Salt Bay? Salt Bay would be the worst doctor. I'd be like, well, so what's the problem? So, yeah, I, skip, I, like, I got a big cut. A big cut, a big a piece of spare fucking metal, scrap metal. Hit my fucking... Uh, Hit my leg and I'm, it's an open wound. He's like, I'll say no more. Salt pours fucking salt on your on your on your wound. Ah, you go, oh, God. And he's like, that'll be uh, that'll be ten thousand dollars. That'll be ten thousand dollars, and uh, you have to pay me right now. Have you seen that shit? His stuff is like super expensive, and it apparently is like not good. Shocker, big shocker there. Salt Bay's food tastes like fucking crap. Maybe it's short for Assault Bay. Like, it, like, his food is just assaulting your taste buds. You know what I mean? And that is a crime. What are you in for? Uh, you know, assault. Uh, who, did, you, did you fucking attack someone? Like, yeah, actually. Well, not really. I just made some... I just made a weird steak covered in gold. And I, and I bounced a bunch of salt off my elbow. <laughs> and I'm locked up. <laughs> Prison Salt Bay. Um, yeah. Okay. We're gonna. I got some stuff to, to take a take a look at here. Uh, we're gonna re do it. You know, current pop culture, uh, uh, fucking pop culture review or whatever. Um, oh, what should we talk about first? All right. Let's talk about this fucking clip, dude. Speaking of stand up, I. Uh, <laughs> Every fucking couple months, dude, there's like a new um, stand-up clip that sort of goes viral for like the worst reasons. Um, dude. Also, I'll say this. I don't think there's ever been a good joke that started with, anybody here have pronouns? Yeah, dude. A everybody. They all have, uh, that's what they are. That's fucking, pro that's what they are. Everybody has them. Anybody here have pronouns? <laughs> yes, yes, actually. Is there anybody here with pronouns? I just need, I hope to God there's one person. Anybody here have lungs? All right, does anybody here have a beating heart? Anybody? Is anybody here? <laughs> Anybody, that's, there's never been a good joke that started with anybody here have pronouns. Because they all do. Anybody here have pronouns? Oh, what's your pronouns? Okay. Okay. I'll just, I'll just let it play. Anybody here have pronouns? Oh, what's your pronouns? Okay. I respect your pronouns because you got to respect my pronouns. Do you want to know my pronouns are? Yeah. My pronouns are real. <laughs> that's my pronouns. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna play make believe. Let's play make believe. Dude, okay. So, if you guys didn't see the the caption there, it was bleeped out. Um, which is interesting. But he said his pronouns. So I guess a crux of the joke is like, "What's your pronouns?" They say they them. Um, which has got to be a plant, right? Like, that's a planted crowd member because who, who, which person who, who has they, who uses they, them pronouns is at a fucking right wing comedian's show, right? That just doesn't line up in my brain. But, and then he goes, okay, so I respect your pronouns, but, and then immediately uh, by disrespecting them, by equating them to saying, oh, my pronouns are real. And then he says the N-word, and he's a white guy. That is a white guy. And the joke is, oh, we're playing make-believe here. Then I can say that, then I can say that I'm, I'm the N-word. And it's like, so you know that's not cool, yet you say it. And then when you post it, you bleep it. So which, fuck, which is it, man? And you could tell that, like, as soon as he said it, he's like, <laughs> right, guys? 
right? You guys got it? Dude, that's the pro that's the promo for his shows. And like where where is he where is this show taking place? Is this a TED Talk? This is lit like a fucking TED Talk. The the lighting in here looks like a legit TED Talk in a gymnasium. Super bright audience. Like no audience is ever that well lit. Does he have fucking uh, he has a light shining at Right, directly fully lit the house lights are on that's the new that's the new meta that's the new stand up meta cuz we all you know we all we all got to stack those friggin' crowd work clips you know that's like that's what they tell you to do so but sometimes the crowd's really dark right so you got to fucking bam house lights up i need to see the crowd <laughs> that's what i'm going to do this weekend just kidding that would fucking terrify me you want to know my pronouns are do you want to know my pronouns are? Do you want to know my pronouns are? Do you want to know my pronouns are? <laughs> They're not a full sentence either. Yeah. Dude, how... It's just like... What is it about like being... Like, like there's some things... There's some things about life... That, like, you just, like, there's no point to fucking joke about it, you know? This, like, a pronoun joke from, and I'm not saying there's no, like, you can't, there isn't a way to joke about things, right? About, you can't, I believe you could make a joke about everything if it's done correctly. But, like, I've yet to see someone who, like, doesn't, like, believe in pronouns like it, it whenever they make a joke about it it's not from a place of like oh i want i just want to be funny i want to make uh you know i want to maybe learn about this i want it's like it's always a place from of like oh this is dumb i don't understand it. it's fucking stupid but like the funny the and the, the fucking real tea is like when you hear someone um you know speaking of tea when you hear like a a real like you know like a trans person or uh, a non-binary person, you know, when they make a joke about gender and stuff, it's like funny because they're like, oh, I'm just going to make a funny joke about this. And you can laugh at it, right? But that's never what they want to do here. It's like, well, you're playing make-believe here. I respect your pronouns, but you're playing make-believe. Like, what the fuck, dude? No, you're not, you don't respect them at all, dude. And like, yo, why are you saying the n-word and then posting it and being like yeah you want to see me say the n-word in all these other cities upcoming shows <laughs> do you fucking crazy guy nice clear glasses dude nice that's very cool dude those are what um that's like what interior designers wear no that's what software engineers wear not like stand-up comedians dude If you're a stand-up comedian, you shouldn't wear glasses. Because, you know, as a comedian, you're supposed to observe the world. You're supposed to see stuff and comment on it. You've got, like, a skewed vision already, dude. You got shit, shit vision. You know what I mean? Got him. Fucking got him, dude. Yeah, fucking crazy, man. Stand dude, yeah, some stand-ups are just, you know... And do not listen to me, because I'm a fucking... I'm mediocre at best, but... Like, fuck it. At least if I fucking say the N-word on stage, that is crazy, dude. And this, I'm ready for this lemonade to burn my mouth yet again. Woo. Youch. Um. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> it's like the, I just feel like. The I think they need conservative comedians. I think they 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 make the same joke, just fucking over and over and over again, and they still lose their mind. I don't. They can like. It, it really is just about repetition with them, and it's the same thing. And it's the same with like conspiracy theories or like doomsday prophecies. They have them. They don't happen, and then they keep going. And it goes like it doesn't matter what happens. They're just like I'm here for it, right? 
the fucking my uh, the Daily Show put a fucking compilation of all the of conservatives have one joke. Pronouns are U S A. My pronouns are U S A. How about it? Huh? Nice. My name is Ted Cruz, and my pronouns are kiss my ass. My Okay, so that's the thing. I'm aware of like neo pronouns and stuff, but I think that's a little too far. I think Ted Cruz is taking a little too far with his neo pronouns. Kiss my at. How would you use that? So like, yeah, it's usually like he, him. It's like he was having a okay. So yeah, I met, I ran into Ted Cruz the other day. Kiss. Kiss his ass, kiss, kiss my ass was eating a burger. Like, I didn't even know if that, how would that work? He needs to do go into more detail about his pronouns if he wants us to, you know, he's, he's telling us his pronouns, so he cares about them, right? He sort of, Ted, Ted sort of cruised on by without really making an explanation. Also, Ted Cruz, I think your pronouns should be in your bio on Twitter um, because there's some other crazy stuff on your t- Twitter that should not be there. But what should be there is your uh, uh, is your fucking pronouns, man. Pronouns are kiss my ass. Nice. My personal preferred pronouns are fried chicken and collard greens. And my pronouns. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, what's the joke there? Yeah, I guess he just likes food, I assume, right? Fried chicken and... C- <laughs> I mean, that's kind of hard. That goes hard. Our patriot and ass kicker. My yeah, pronoun is American. I don't uh, know about yeah. you. <laughs> that's, right? a <laughs> that's a good one. Never heard that one before, except, I mean, I have, but everybody said it, but I, it's still a good one. My pronouns are I won. Damn, dude. Okay, someone's got to sample that. <laughs> someone, let's get someone, let's get someone to sample that shit. So let's get a non-binary rapper to fucking sample that shit. That would go so, go so hard. My pronouns are he and hall, so I'm not really sure. First of all, my pronouns are he and hall, so I'd like for you to address me that way. Nice. Okay. My pronouns are Bible believer, Jesus lover, gun carrier. My preferred pronouns are Brad and Pitt. My pronouns are Bud and Light. My pronoun is what? Uh, that one probably fucking bit him in the ass for a little bit. That person who said their pronouns was Bud Light probably fucking had a mental breakdown when all that Dylan Mulvaney stuff was going on. Like, what the, the, but they like trans people? What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> what the <laughs> I'm a conspiracy theorist. My pronouns are told you. My pro- Dude, it's so fucking stupid. Like, it's so, it's not funny. It's lazy. It's dumb. It's fucking boring. Hack. Stupid. Fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay, what else should we uh, should we move on? I'm done talking about that shit. Um, ooh, okay, yeah. Let's talk about... Uh, should we talk about JoJo Siwa? She's getting pretty popular these days, right? Um, so, I watched a little bit of a video about like the history of JoJo Siwa, which is always cool because uh, it's always cool to do as a 29-year-old man. Uh, is to is to go, is to look up on YouTube and go. It's history of JoJo Siwa uh, that makes you feel really good about where you are uh, in life. But um, yeah, so I guess JoJo Siwa, you probably know she's got she sold a lot of bows, like the bows in her hair that she would sell at Claire's and shit. Uh, uh, excuse me, but she, um, you know, she was like a child star. She was on like Dance Moms or some shit. And, uh, you know, it got pretty popular. She won, like, a Nickelodeon Fan Choice Award or something. She has that YouTube intro. It was like, Ooh, everybody, what is it about the 
She literally sounds like the fucking um the guy from the kid from Wild Thornberrys. Let me find that YouTuber uh YouTube intro. Let me find that clip that I'm talking about. And then let's hear the. His name is Donnie. <laughs> Dude, that's a <laughs> you could play that over Jojo Siwa, no difference at all. Um, but Jojo Siwa makes music, okay? And she came up with a new song. I think it's it's called Karma, I believe. Um, there's been some drama with it because people are like, she stole it. She stole the song. I heard. I found the person who put this song out, and then uh, and but then she pulled, then she did it. That means it's stealing. But it's like I'm fucking. I'm sure she just bought it. From the fucking person, I'm like I'm 100 percent positive that that's what happened because that happens all the time. I uh, you know sometimes people make songs and then people are like, hey, "Can I actually have that one?" And they're like, "Yeah, pay me this amount and you can have it." And they go, "Okay, uh, I sold millions of dollars in bows, so I'm gonna do that." Um, and she come back with this huge rebrand. She ca she came back with this huge friggin' rebrand, dude. Let me pull it up. Um, she looks pretty different now, right? She used to. Here's a picture right here. She used to wear the bows, right? Um, dressed in all colorful stuff. And now she's freaking, you know, dressed like Kiss. She's just like, dressed like a member of Kiss, dude. Definitely an interesting progression of aesthetics, you know? Um, like, she kind of looks like... Uh, like I feel like when you go that far, I feel like she, like I call me crazy. This conspiracy theory, Kurt, going off, but I think she's gunning for a Fortnite skin. I think that's what she's doing. Cause that I could picture her being like, and then you're like, what? And then you just slow it down like twenty percent. It's like, hello guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, JoJo Siwa. Letting you guys know that my, I, I want my fans to know first that I have an exclusive skin coming out on Fortnite. You can buy it in the item shop with V-Bucks and I would really appreciate the support. And then you go back to normal. It's like, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, dude, she's uh, completely switched up her look, dude. She's all, uh, she's gone scary mode. And you know what? It's worked before, right? I think she said in interviews that, um, what was it like? She she said in an interview she was like, "No one's ever made such a big change." Um, okay, I found it. Is there anyone you kind of take your cues from? Because I mean, I, we've seen like Miley Cyrus grew 100%. up, and we had like Taylor when she did yeah. Reputation, those Absolutely. kinds of things. Honestly, I look at some of the generation above them: Michael Jackson, Prince, Elton, uh, Bowie. They they are, and of course Gaga. I mean, mm -hmm. take all the inspiration from Gaga. But those people for me that were just not afraid. Elvis was the first to not be afraid to be different, to not be afraid to be out there, to not be afraid to take a risk. I mean, the shit Freddie Mercury used to wear mm -hmm. on stage, you'd be like, "What? No!" But now it's like people are afraid to be different, and there's we're all different. We're all weird. We're all a little f***ed up. And I think that's okay to show that. I'm getting like a like a sexy glam Gene Simmons sea creature Ooh. going on here. You know, the amount of references that people have told me I look okay. like in this video that I have no clue what they are is <laughs> sickening. I'm adding that one to the list, mm -hmm. but I'll take it. Dude, I heard how do sexy you fucking shout out, dude? How, the, how are you going to shout out? David Bowie, Freddie Mercury, Elvis. But you don't know who Gene Simmons is? You're dressed like a member of KISS. She's acting like she's the first person to put on a black suit. Just fucking Spider-Man did that shit. <laughs> the symbiote, dude. And fucking face paint. 
His kids have been doing that for years, man. Like, for a long time. Like, 40, 50 years, dude. And it makes sense. It's kind of... It's kind of similar. Dude, I have a bunch of clothes on the bed in my hotel room, and I, I keep thinking it's a legit person, and it's really scaring me. Um, it makes sense, though, because, you know, both, like, with Kiss and with JoJo Siwa, they're dressed up in these crazy fucking, uh, these outfits, like, these fucking scary, you know, all the, the spikes, fucking black leather, like, dark, scary shit, right? And then they'll go on stage, and you're saying the softest shit <laughs> of all time. Jojo C was like, karma, karma is a bitch. I only heard it once. I don't know how it goes, but it's like, karma is a bitch. I don't give a F about shit. And then Kiss will go on stage and be like, I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. That the most soft shit ever. And they're dressed like demons. It's so funny. And it's the same shit. So I, I mean, history repeats itself. It really does. Art imitates life. JoJo imitates Kiss. Um, we got this another great. We got another great inter- uh, clip from JoJo Siwa's press tour. Uh, I'm gonna play it for you. The genre is. I said it back in the day when I first signed with Columbia. I said I wanted to start a new genre of music, and they said, "What do you mean?" And I said, "Well, it's called gay pop." And they were like, "What's that?" And I was like. It's like K-pop, right? But it's yeah. gay pop. There's a st- Okay. <clears throat> All right. I didn't see the rest of the clip. I only saw the gay pop thing. But the fact that it's a pun on K-pop, that's that's okay. That's unfortunately really funny. I hate to say it, guys. I hate to be the bearer of bad news here. But that is unfortunately pretty jokes. <laughs> I will I will give that to JoJo. All right. That's kind that's actually pretty funny. Spilling shit all over the place. Style of dance. It's a newer style of dance. Newer. It's, I'm aging myself. It was newer when I was eight, right? Now I'm 20, and so it's not newer anymore. It's <laughs> old. But there's a style of dance called jazz funk. It's jazz. It's hip hop. They have a baby. They made jazz funk, right? You can wear sneakers. So, wait, yo, wait. take your fucking sunglasses off. You know what I mean? You're having a conversation with someone indoors. I guess she's also taking inspiration from Bono as well. She forgot to say that in her interview. Yeah, I just love how he wears sunglasses all the time. I think that's really cool. And also, to be, you know, like, in the year 2024, to be like, yeah, I'm inventing gay pop. <laughs> I feel like there's been a lot of gay pop music artists out there before you, JoJo. Jazz shoes. Like, it's like, it's kind of in between. And I feel like that is this world of music. It's the songs like Applause by Lady Gaga. It's the on- Literally, I'm inventing gay pop. So, yeah, I like Lady Gaga. <laughs> I feel Lady Gaga is like the the queen of gay pop, right? And it's like I feel like this is giving a lot of like JoJo Siwa is really giving me a lot of uh, Debbie Ryan energy. You know what I mean? You know? I walked into the sea of Disney and I said I want to make history, right? I was just at the beach and crazy threw my hair up and now I'm here. My life is crazy. Uh, you know, and we can talk shit on Debbie Ryan as as much as we want, but, you know, those are two fucking iconic quotes that she just fucking, came, like, picked out of her brain. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. I feel like if you're going to do a rebrand, um, I don't know, you should, like, change your name, you know? It, it's weird to, like, associate... Because like, when I think JoJo Siwa, I think of like... <laughs> and uh, so I, I just have to think like you, you, there has to be a new name that you could come up with, right? Like fucking JoJo Say What? Instead of, <laughs> instead of JoJo Siwa, right? JoJo Say What? Because then you can say whatever the fuck you want, right? Not like the N word, like the comedian, but you can say what <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Um, yeah, JoJo say what? That's a good one, actually. You could do like a yo yo yo, right? Uh, you could do 
no no Siwa, like you're the opposite version of it, right? Of Jojo Siwa. There's a lot of things. You could switch it up. You could switch the name. Um you know. You could have uh Like that's the thing. Like if you're gonna really rebrand, fucking go all in, dude. Total change your name. Change your name to something fucking crazy, like the like the David experiment. <laughs> but you're stage like one person. You're like like you're just one girl. Your name is your stage name is the David experiment, and you make like experimental, like jazz fusion, and you play all the instruments with like your fucking like your head or some shit, right? And like all your bandmates are animals, like different animals. Like the giraffe is on the keyboard, like you got an elephant on the drums. Sounds like shit. Sounds so bad. And then you do like a traveling show. Um, you charge a fucking obscene amount of money. And then you, that would crush because it's different, right? You want to try something new? Do that, Jojo. Be fucking crazy. Be out of your mind, dude. That's what I want to see. I am now the David experiment. <laughs> and my, my guitar player is an, is an electric eel. And he plays the electric guitar. Okay, he doesn't even need an amp. He doesn't need a wire or anything. He just, he just can do it all on his own. He produces the electricity. Okay. My album is four days long. <laughs> My album's four days long. Do you hear me? Nine hundred tracks, four days long, and I'm selling it on cassette tape. Big, big cassette tape fits. It doesn't fit in any player. You can never hear this. You will never hear these these songs. But you gotta support me, okay? You bought the bows when you were a kid. You buy my four day album when I'm an adult. You fuckers, all right? And 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 I'll take my sunglasses off to tell you that. I own Miley Cyrus. Can't be tamed. Miley Cyrus. Karma. It's that that world of music where it's not necessarily pop. It's not giving you Katy Perry, California Girls pop. Okay, well, I mean, it's fucking, it's still pop music. There's nothing wrong with saying it's pop music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, JoJo? Listen up, David Experiment. Dude, that's such a funny name for a fucking, a pop star. Um, What else has been fucking going on, dude? Should we, I feel, I'm wondering what I should talk about. Oh, right, half hour already? Damn, bruh. Hold on. Uh, okay, well, maybe we'll do some advice. Um, if you guys don't know, the only way I am getting advice questions now is on the Patreon, all right? It got a little bit too gnarly on the very, really good email because people kept signing me up for uh, gay porn and some other cr and some other crazy stuff as well. Um, that's a, you know, a little more gnarly. Um, hey, and you know what? I've said this, I've said this before. If you fucking, if that's what you like, hell yeah. But you know, it, it's for it's for advice. <laughs> it was for it was for podcast questions. It's for advice. Um, okay, let's. Uh, I think I screenshotted them. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys want to go support the podcast, head out to patreon.com slash very really good, and you can uh, send me a message on there with the. Uh, with your advice question and it, it'll probably make it on the show. We're doing silly ones these days. A lot of fun. I love, I love settling arguments too. So if you got an argument that you need settled, I will be the, the, the person, the mediator. All right. Be objective. And, um, yeah, I'm recording a bonus episode after this one. So if you want more, very, really good. Check out the Patreon. Okay. So, Okay, silly debate for the advice segment. Me and my boyfriend have a Minecraft world, and I built us a giant base with a big farm and village and horse stables. I've started on my latest installation, a lava moat around the base. I think it would be funny and cool and protect our base from pillagers. However, he thinks it's a dumb idea, and I'm going to fall in and die and or burn our base down. And in brackets, I did actually burn down a villager's house. It's about halfway done and honestly looks like shit. Should I keep going and finish the moat, or should I get rid of it? Um, now, this is a classic, all right? You have big dreams, right? You got you get pretty ambitious, and then you go for it, and then you're like, fuck, this was a bad idea. Everybody else was right, and I'm stupid. And you can do two things, all right? You can give in to reason, 
All right, you can weigh the pros and cons, and you can see that the pros vastly outweigh the cons. You can listen to your loved ones that tell you to do this certain thing, right? The logical way. Or you can, you can be the fish swimming upstream. You can be the fucking uh, the outlier. You can be the, uh, the trendsetter. You can be the fearless individual who says, no, I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. And I know this is bad. It might not work. It probably won't work. But if it does, I'll make history. Okay? So, this is up to you. Do you want to go, yeah, sorry, you were right. Or do you want to go, shut the fuck up. I'm making the lava moat. All right? And that's just who you want to be. That's that's all on you, okay? Uh, okay, next one. Hey, Kurt. This is for the advice segment. I need you to settle debate. My boyfriend and I got in our first fight, and it was about Justin Bieber. Okay. Uh, I think that is how everyone's first fight is, I think. I think that he is a protege. Sorry. Prodigy. I think he is a prodigy and very talented. He thinks that he's garbage and a washed-up celebrity. I think that he was just traumatized from being famous young. We're still fighting about it, and he thinks I should send this in and get your opinion on Justin Bieber being washed up and also not talented. Okay, well, tell your boyfriend. Yeah, he's fucking wrong, dude. Justin Bieber, he's done some crazy shit. You know, he has definitely done some crazy shit before. Um, I'm not denying that. But the fucking guy's got a... He's got some stellar vocal cords on him. He's got banger after banger. Uh, Confident uh, is by like one of the best songs of all time. Um, He's fucking... He makes great music, okay? Is he washed up? I don't think so. I feel like when you have that catalog, you're like, you're going to be famous forever. Um... But absolutely, he was fucking traumatized from being a famous child, dude. Every, you give you give any, tw- like, 20-year-old tens of millions of dollars, they're going to do some dumb shit. And, like, all the attention in the world? Yeah, dude. They're doing some dumb shit. Like, r- no matter what. Oh, yeah, dude, I forgot to say this about the JoJo Siwa thing. She's, like, still homies with James Charles and Miranda Sings. What the fuck? I had it written down on my friggin' episode notes, and uh, I forgot. Fuck, yeah, that's crazy. She's got to do the a cover, a fucking gay pop cover of Toxic Gossip Train. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so sick. It's the toxic gossip train. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, okay, this one's cool. I would like some advice about my job. I'm a woman welder. Why are you welding women? You're a fucking monster. That is evil. You're welding women together? It's like human centipede. Blech. Excuse me. Um, I'm a woman welder who has about two years of experience. You've been welding women for two years, still haven't caught? You still haven't been caught, dude? I haven't even heard about you. I like welding a lot, but it's a very male-dominated field. Yeah, mostly guys are getting welded together. I work in a manufacturing plant that only has probably less than 10 women working on my shift. There used to be a lot more, but I welded them together, and some of we lost some of them. A problem I've run into at my job is weird slash creepy men, usually older, that try to talk to me or just stare at me all the time. Uh, I want to know if you have any advice on how to be the most intimidating, scary, or unapproachable so they will leave me alone. What can I say slash do slash look like that will have them shaking in their boots or feeling mildly uncomfortable enough to ignore me? Hmm, okay. I'm like scanning my my brain database to like all the videos I've seen of, of like girls talking about this topic so I can like relay some information, but I can't really think of anything. I feel like you, like, I feel like you just got to be, like, 
No, I was going to be like, you should be insane. Like, you should just fucking bark at him and shit. But, like, I feel like some guys would be like, oh, oh that's pretty cool. I like that. Wish you could do that. You should do that to me more often. You know? So I'm trying to think. I think you got to just, like... Just fucking insult them. You know, make them feel dumb, right? You know, maybe flex some... Uh, um intelligence on them right quick drop well yeah you drop them with some fun facts but not even fun facts like crazy facts that they don't understand and they're just like i just can't let no you're making me feel dumb uh this is because i'm only really being creepy to you as like a power thing so you kind of you're kind of taking that away from me so i don't really want to do that anymore so maybe that would work right you got to take the power away from them right and uh, the the best way to do that is to weld them weld them to another person weld them to another man and uh they got to live their life as uh welding buddies forever Siamese twins kind of but welded right um so that's my advice so and at that <laughs> we'll uh we'll wrap it up so thank you so much for listening to this episode guys from beautiful Appleton Wisconsin I'm gonna keep it going on the bonus episode and uh, if you guys want to listen to that head over to uh patreon.com slash very really good okay thanks so much guys see you next time bye bye